All right, guys, now I know some of you are like, why are you even showing me how to do this problem? It's so easy, Dr. Erig. I know. Hi, I'm Dr. Erig. Let's work on this irrational problem, EOC style for the Algebra 1 EOC. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can do it the official correct way. I'm going to show you the official correct way first. Five square roots of eight times three square roots of four. You'd have been like, oh, the square root of four is two. So this is really two times two, which is six. And of course, you would use this beautiful, silly voice. Here you would have said, well, I see that there's the square root of eight can be broken up to the square root of four times the square root of two. You know this five comes down, the square root of four is two, and the square root of two comes down, and all of these babies get multiplied together. So we're gonna multiply our coefficients, five, two, and six, which gives me 60, and the square root of two. That's the correct answer, but keep watching this video, cause I'm gonna show you the easier way to do this. We go to the scientific calculator, and we turn these irrational numbers into decimals. So, because on the day of the test, it might not be that easy, or you might have a brain freeze, so you want to use the calculator. First, we're going to just type in the problem. Five square roots of eight, click off so you can get the multiplication sign. Three square roots of four, double check you typed everything incorrectly, and we know that the decimal equivalent is approximately 84.85. Then, we just type in each of the answer choices. 15, radical two, 21.21, er, not the correct answer. 60 point radical two, 84.85, bingo. That's what the one we want. That's the correct answer. Let's try the other ones. 30 radical three, 51.96, 60 radical three, 103.92. So, you can do it the algebraic way. Or you can use the mathematical tool, which is the calculator, and get it right that way too. And it'll work the same way for every question. Bye.